go to school in Pasco County. Yeah, the board was actually supposed to make a final vote on boundary changes earlier this month. Instead, later this morning, they will present their argument to the judge. Avery Cotton is live at J.W. Mitchell High School. So, Avery, parents and kids are at their wits' end, and rightfully so. Yes, good morning to you. Tomorrow is the last day of school for students, and I can tell you frustration is just boiling over. Lawsuits have been filed, protests have happened, and still students are wondering what's going to happen to them come August. It's absolutely unacceptable, and we'll, we'll fight it till, till the end. Jim Stanley is one of the frustrated parents who filed that lawsuit against the school board. This has been going on now for over a year on the west side of Pasco County. The school board approved a plan back in January, but a judge sent them back to the drawing board. Parents argued that the plan they presented did not change anything for their kids. The board was supposed to take a final vote earlier this month, but delayed it. They want the chance to present their arguments to a judge. Um, but we have no choice. Um, this person is filing a suit against the, the district challenging our process. And we didn't want to take a vote before the judge had a chance to hear the arguments on both sides. And that hearing is set for 9 o'clock this morning. Gail, hopefully for these kids' sake, some kind of progress can be made at this hearing. I hope so, because, you know, a lot of people even bought real estate based on where their kid might go to school. Thanks, Avery.